and welcome to another one of my vertical vlogs the show in which I take you along on all of my magical adventures but everything is filmed vertically because I was invited to these events to create content for Instagram and TikTok and those are vertical so sorry about that but I hope that you enjoy it anyway in this episode we are going to a ColourPop event and if you don't know what ColourPop is it is a makeup brand that's really popular for their eyeshadow palettes as well as their super shock shadows which are basically eyeshadows that are very very pigmented and really pop the second that you put them on I think that they're great and I understand why they're so popular also ColourPop does a lot of collaborations with like Disney and Nickelodeon and what other ones have done Star Wars so a lot of really fun collaborations and recently it being a collaboration with BT21 and if you are a BTS fan like me you are already hyped for that I already knew that this collection was going to be the cutest because BT21 is just absolutely adorable and let me tell you right now the collection did not disappoint on top of being really cool just for you know even having this BT21 collaboration they also held a launch party at the line friend store in Hollywood and they invited me I'm gonna tell you right now when I got the invitation I was like I am absolutely going like the second that they sent the invitation um, I had been to the line friend store before and I thought it was the most absolutely adorable store ever so um, I was pretty excited to be invited to this and now I'm going to take you along with me as we go to the launch party Hey y'all, hope you're having a great day so far. Tonight I'm going to a ColourPop Cosmetics event to celebrate their new collection in collaboration with BT21, which if you do not know what BT21 is, it's pretty much, how do I even explain it actually? <laughs> so it's pretty much kind of like a group of animated characters that the Korean K-pop group BTS designed and that's like their brand and um, they're super duper cute so the collection with ColourPop is themed after them but then also like summertime vibes and like a pool party vibe so my question to you is what do I wear? So funny enough I just finished filming a haul where I got sent all these poofy dresses so I'm like, maybe I should just wear a poofy dress. But honestly, I feel like that's not really the vibe since again, the vibe is pool party. And then also BTS in general, they're just really stylish. And I'm like, just throwing on a poofy dress and calling it a day is like, I need to put more effort into it. But at the same time, I feel like, okay, so the purple one would go really well with BTS because you know, I purple you. But um, I also think that this one, would go really well with the theme because it's a pool party and this is kind of like water <laughs> so i'm like hey maybe this one will work but then again it goes back to like do i even wear a puff sleeve dress to this event because um again the theming is like very colorful summertime and I'm not saying that these dresses are not colorful but they're not very like summertime carefree vibes um they're more like princessy you know elegant um tea party and you know what, not gonna lie, they're a little bit itchy. You know, no one really ever says anything about these puffy dresses, but they're itchy and they're hot. They're not great for summer. I'm like dying in this dress right now. So I'm like, do I wear it? It is a nighttime event. So I'm like, maybe I could get away with it, but um, it's an indoor event and indoor events often get like hot and stuffy anyway. So am I gonna survive in this dress? I don't know. I don't know what the vibe should be. I need your guys' help reference this is the blue one this is the one I would probably wear if I do end up wearing a puff dress to this event so yes puffy dresses or something else okay so originally I just really wanted to wear a lots of colors to this event and I really want to wear this cardigan despite it being super duper hot but this is kind of like a lightweight cardigan where you could just like throw on and take off easy um, so I don't think it'll be as bad which is funny because you would think that wearing the puff sleeve dresses would not be as hot as wearing the cardigan but it is so hot once you're inside it it's insane like you would not think that at all but for me I was just like burning up but anyway um, so yes I really want to style my outfit um with this being the like centerpiece and i went with this for underneath so i got this purple 
crop top with a little heart detailing in the center and I thought that was really cool and it's also like a halter top so it's very like summery beachy vibes and then I'm wearing my classic white tennis skirt that I wear with like almost every other outfit <laughs> I ever wear um, but the thing is I don't know what kind of event this is and I know that the location that they have it in they have like some photo ops there and for some of the photo ops I kind of want to be like sitting down and it's kind of like for those poses kind of hard to do it with a skirt or like not very flattering with a skirt so I'm not sure if I'm gonna go with the skirt or if I'm going to go with pants but we'll see so this is gonna be the outfit I'm also gonna put like some fun colorful like clips in my hair too and probably wear it down but yeah I think this is super cute very summery I think you just like off the shoulder and my hair will look better but yeah I mean that's kind of cute by itself but we'll see about the skirt Okay, so I went with the pants Ooh, just to feel a little bit more comfortable here in LA by myself. Um, so uh, other details, I added these cute little clips in my hair, some on top that you can't really see, but then some right here on a little braid in the front. Also some colorful um, flowers on my necklace and I even painted my nails. And of course I redid my makeup, which looks weird with this filter on, but it's actually like pink, blue, green, and purple and it looks really, really cute. But yeah, so that is the fit. And now I have to go and find where in the world the event is because they're supposed to give us free parking somewhere and then they said that it was full so then I had to find a random parking uh, place to park so I'm like oh my gosh where am I? <laughs> Come with me to a ColourPop launch party celebrating the new BT21 X ColourPop collection. This new collection includes an eyeshadow palette filled with fun, bright summertime colors complete with shimmers and mattes. There's also an array of super shock shadows with, of course, our favorite BT21 characters on the packaging. And oh my gosh, you guys, if you've never experienced ColourPop super shock shadows, they are the best. Now the party was held at the Lime Friends store in Hollywood, California, which was the most perfect location ever for this launch because they already have most of their store dedicated to BT21 merch, merch anyway, and they even have fun props, artwork, and statues that make for great photo ops. And on top of that, ColourPop has surprised us with a gift card so we could grab an item, which was super nice of them. I mean, I already told myself that I was going to buy something even before they gave me the gift card, but yeah, super nice of them. It was difficult to decide on what to get because on one hand, I wanted absolutely everything, and on the other, I wanted to stay within the budget of the gift card so my wallet wouldn't hate me, so I ended up getting two items and they're the cutest little plush keychains but y'all i am not even finished yet color pop included a boba tea bar and donut station for us to enjoy as well and of course as a free food connoisseur i very much took advantage of this and was living my best life enjoying my boba and donut that matched my outfit the rest of the night was spent chatting making new friends taking photos and finding the urge to buy even more merch because everything was just so gosh darn cute and i have to say as a bts fan i was already super excited when they announced the collection with bt21 but what makes me even more excited to share this with you is one knowing that ColourPop products are very good quality and perform beautifully and two there is an amazing team behind the brand that is passionate about what they create 10 out of 10 check out the new bt21 x ColourPop collection and thanks for watching see you next time bye first of all i just want to say that i am so happy with the outfit that i chose i actually wore it again today just like for consistency purposes uh, because I would have not had the best time if I was in that puff dress because like I said before puff dresses are just like really hot for some reason and a little bit itchy if you wear them for too long so and also I don't think it was the vibe either so I really like that I wore a very colorful outfit instead and pants even the outfit with the skirt like it was cute but I knew that I wanted to be taking pictures with all of these like statues and stuff in the background and that I would need to get on the floor for many of them because they're like low to the ground and that was the best angle to go at and it would have been difficult to do if I was wearing a dress or a skirt not only difficult but also like very weird and quite strange when others were just like looking at me like oh what are you doing not gonna lie they probably were looking at me that way anyway but at least I was wearing pants so I could have been like mm, 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 whatever without even worrying about it and you know what I rocked it not gonna lie, I think I got the best shots out of everybody who went to that event, okay? Because y'all, I didn't see any of y'all taking photos like I was taking photos. <laughs> I'm just kidding, I'm sure all of your videos and photos turned out super duper cute as well. And it, honestly, it was such a fun event. I had an absolute blast, so thank you again to ColourPop for inviting me. And they even gave us all goodie bags and, like I said in the video, a gift card to buy something at Line Friend Store, which 
I was already gonna buy something to be honest, but I'm so grateful for the gift card because it saved me a lot of money. So yeah, let me go ahead and share with you what was in the goodie bag as well as what I bought with the gift card. Firstly, the tote bag. The tote bag itself is very nice. It says ColourPop and it's, you know, reusable and stuff. Very cool, 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 cool. And inside we have the full collection starting with the eyeshadow palette which is called bon voyage and of course it has all of the lovely bt21 characters on it and then when you open it up oh here's the back of the packaging where it says the names of all of the eyeshadows and when you open it up there's a bunch of really pretty colors in there let me go ahead and oh, here it is bon voyage which is the same uh artwork as the box here and then we open it that's when you get some new artwork all the little buddies just like hanging out by the pool. It's so cute. And then of course these are the eyeshadow palettes. There's a mix of like mattes or like solid colors as well as like shimmery ones and glittery ones. But yeah, the whole theme of this collection is like a summer pool party. So lots of bright, fun colors. And yes, of course, the packaging is just absolutely gorgeous. ColourPop has the best packaging out there, hands down, like no comparison. I don't think I've ever seen a brand that has like such adorable packaging where every single time I get something from ColourPop, I'm like, I want to keep this just because of the artwork and the packaging. <laughs> but yeah, see, I personally like the shimmery ones. Like, I mean, if I'm going to do a fun, bold eyeshadow look, it's going to be a shimmery look. So I am so down for all of these shimmery shades and even the glitter ones too, like to make my eyes really pop. Um... And they, of course, they also have like other colors here if you wanted a more subtle one. Like if you just want like a regular um, smoky eye, they have like these ones or like regular um, everyday look. They have like this brown selection. But honestly, I think this palette is more for like very bright, fun colors, which is really awesome again for summertime and would look great in this outfit as well. Should I try a couple? No, I don't have any of my brushes. I don't want to mess these up. Also, there's um, Super Shock Shadows that I want to share with you. Speaking of, you know, shimmery and glittery, the Super Shock Shadows are all about that. So let me go ahead and grab those out. So these are the Super Shock Shadows. I can't hold all of them at once, but they have um, all of the little... Uh, BT21 characters on the packaging and of course I need to show off the details of the packaging because every single one of these has a different uh, piece of artwork and I love it. I love all of the artwork, the detailing put into the packaging and I just feel like it needs its moment to be appreciated because someone worked on this and I'm sure there's gonna be a lot of people who just like throw away the packaging, just like open it up, don't even look at it. I look at it. So thank you very much for all your hard work because it's absolutely adorable. But at the same time, it does make it a little bit harder for me to throw these things away just because they're so beautiful and cute. So not gonna lie, sometimes I cut them up and I put them in scrapbooks because I'm like, this artwork is so cute. And that's literally what I'm gonna do for this. Like I, I once I actually start using this, I'm going to undo the box here and then like lay it flat and put it in my scrapbook that's what i'm doing <laughs> um but yeah so these are the super shock shadows and i want to show you like a close-up of what they look like do a little swatcheroo like if i were a makeup guru <laughs> but yeah you open these up and they're basically uh eyeshadows now i found that the best way to put these on is with your finger because for some reason when you try to use a brush it just doesn't come off as well and it's like harder to apply with the brush than your finger and Unless you know a different um, strategy of how to put on these super shock shadows on your eyelids, <laughs> um, please tell me because I have been using my finger and that's like the best thing that I've found to do is to just use your finger and it comes off beautifully and it, you know, comes out on your eye beautifully as well, but obviously your finger is full of makeup and you're like, what the heck? But um, yeah, just look at how pigmented these shadows are. Absolutely gorgeous. Also, if you're thinking like these color combinations are quite questionable, don't even doubt the people over at ColourPop because they know what they're doing. Somehow when you put these super shock shadows on, even though it's an array of like different colors and you're like, that's a weird mix or that's like a random mix. When you put it on your eye, it just suddenly looks absolutely gorgeous. And I don't know what kind of magic they use, but it's working. So yeah, on your eye, it just like makes your eyes absolutely pop. And it looks like you spent a really, really long time on your eyeshadow when in fact, you just use these multiple color um, super shock shadows. And I really appreciate that because I actually don't know how to really do makeup. 
and ColourPop just makes it easy to look like I do, <laughs> somewhat. <laughs> the last items in this collection are these lip glosses or lip, lip stain, lip oils, lip, lip oils. I'm not really sure what lip oils are. I don't think I've ever had a lip oil, but this one is the yellow one. And I'm curious to know if it's actually yellow or if it comes off clear, but also like lip oil. What is lip oil? I don't know what lip oil is. I've heard of lip gloss. I've heard of lip stain but not lip oil so let's go ahead and try this huh it feels like a lip hmm. it feels like a lip gloss just not as sticky which i really really like because i cannot stand lip glosses when they feel that is a really cool oh this is actually really cool not gonna lie um so lip glosses i always feel like they just like sit on top of your lips and like they just make it like sticky in your hair just sticks to your face all day but this one kind of like absorbs into your lips and it's very very hydrating i don't know it just feels really nice and like smooth and like buttery <laughs> i can't stop doing that just was okay i really like this honestly and then i wonder if you can see the glitter it does add like a little bit of glitter and i'm glad that it it um goes on clear so you don't have to worry about you know it turning your lips yellow unless you wanted it yellow like i'm sorry but yeah it's, it, it honestly feels so hydrating so lip oil is the way to go for hydrating your lips this feels great not gonna lie i'm just so surprised right now uh, they also have another one in like a red and then this one in a um kind of like an orange color i lost my red one i don't know where that went i think i accidentally left it outside when i was taking pictures of it <laughs> but um yeah this is kind of like more of a coral one it doesn't have any glitter on it it's just like a solid color let me go ahead and put this on oh uh, yeah this one actually has color to it as opposed to the other one where it's just like to add glitter that feels so nice you guys and they smell good too Ooh lip oil y'all dump that lip gloss and get yourself some lip oil because this feels amazing does my hair stick to my lips i mean a little bit not gonna lie <laughs> but not as bad as lip gloss it, it feels like it absorbs into my lips more with the lip oil um anyway i don't know why i want a little rant with lip oil i just got really excited like this is a new product i never tried before but yeah that is the entire collection oh <laughs> I forgot to share with you the things that I actually bought at Lime Friends. Yay! Look, I even got this little cute bag. <laughs> so, um, with the gift card that they gave us, I bought two more uh, plush keychains to add to my ever-growing collection of plush keychains. So, I actually already took my little Chimmy keychain, which I bought the first time that I visited the Lime Friends store, like, last year. And I wore him to the event because I'm like, obviously, I'm going to rock my little chimmy. Uh, I also brought Tata because V is my bias. And although <laughs> um, Tata is not really like my vibe, like the, the, the colors of Tata, um, I actually like chimmy better um, because V is my bias. I'm like, I have to do, I have to get Tata. So um, these are the ones I already had and I took to the event. And then these are the ones that I bought at the event. So I got one RJ and one Koya. And I really like the Koya one because he is actually holding Tata, which is great because, okay, first of all, Koya is really cute in general. And I didn't have anything Koya yet. So I'm like, I need to get Koya. And then they also had like a bunch of these kind of plushies where they're holding a smaller version of another character. And I thought Koya was adorable. And then on top of that, he's holding Tata. So I'm like, okay, so I kind to get like a little bit of v in there and then like from far away it just looks like he's holding a little heart so it's cute so i just really like this one and it's, that's what, what i chose little koya here and then they also had a collection where everything was made out of uh, like this corduroy material and um i thought that rj was the cutest one so i just got rj and he's like so 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 adorable and yes they are all both um little keychains so yeah so cute so i still need um i still need Mang, Shooky, Cookie, and then I don't really want the other one, the army one, because <laughs> I don't think he's that cute. But yeah, I'm so close to having one of each, and uh, when I go back to the store, eventually I will get the other characters that I'm missing. Now that is the end of the haul and the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please get a big thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching, and please leave a comment down below letting me know 
who your bias is because I am genuinely curious. <laughs> and follow me on my socials at Chris Leverdeen on both Instagram and TikTok. It's a fun time and you can stay the most up to date on what I am up to because I post on there first. But again, because I am invited to all these events so I could share on Instagram and TikTok. So those go first and then the YouTube video. So if you wanna be like in the know in the know, Follow me on Instagram and TikTok. Plus, I like share other stuff too. But yeah, both at Chris Leverdeen. Thank you so much again for watching. And don't forget to click that red subscribe button if you have not already. So I can see you next time. Bye. Have a magical day. These days, under the sun together. These days, let's make them last forever. These days, these days, let's hope they last forever.